Hi, I'm Allison from Learning at the Primary Pond. In this video, I'm gonna share why I decided to quit my classroom teaching job in order to become a literacy specialist, sometimes also called a reading specialist. This video is about my personal teaching journey, but I also post lots of videos about teaching literacy in K2, like specific activities and instruction and ideas. So if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, make sure to hit subscribe and also hit the bell to be notified every time I post a new video about teaching literacy in K2. All right, so to share my own personal journey, let's think back many years <laughs> to when I was an undergraduate. So when I was studying to become a teacher, I had actually, the idea of becoming a math teacher had actually crossed my mind, like a high school math teacher. Um, but I knew I loved little ones, so I ended up um, majoring in elementary education instead. But I definitely didn't know that I was going to become a literacy specialist at that point. However, I had a professor who I found really inspiring and she introduced me to research and just all this stuff about teaching literacy that was so fascinating to me. And even though in some ways I like math better because it's just straightforward and in some ways it's easier to teach, I think what I liked about literacy or teaching literacy was that it is complex. There's so many different aspects of it. And then I also was really fascinated by um, just the research behind teaching literacy. So after that point, I did decide, I was still an undergrad, I wasn't even a teacher yet, but I did decide, hey, I'm gonna be a classroom teacher for a while and then eventually become a literacy specialist. And I think my ultimate plan was maybe to like become a college professor or something at that time. So anyway, I finished my undergrad. I technically ended with a reading endorsement in the state that I was going to college in. So I had that endorsement, but I wasn't like a full reading specialist at that point. So taught for a while, I taught pre-K, I taught kindergarten for multiple years, I taught first and second grade. So I got all kinds of experience with primary. And honestly, um, well, actually let me backtrack. So during the last couple of years of my classroom teaching experience, I decided to go ahead and get my master's degree. Um, my master's degree, I believe technically it was called literacy leadership and I had like curriculum, instruction, and diversity somewhere in there. So it was a long title. But anyway, it was a reading specialist master's degree. At the time that I was getting it, getting it, it was an in-person program. And so I was driving to downtown Chicago a um, couple of times a week. And it was pretty rigorous, I would say. Definitely learned a lot. Also was participating in this like literacy clinic where we had struggling readers, we would bring them in, um, assess them and do all types of intervention activities with them. So that was really beneficial. But I was also a classroom teacher at the same time. And if you've ever gotten your master's degree or even just been a classroom teacher, you know that that job in itself is a lot of work. So it was a lot of work going to school and teaching, um, but I knew that this was my passion. I knew that this was really what I wanted to do. So I graduated from my master's program. I was still teaching, I think like for a second at that time. And my plan was just to kind of sit on my master's degree and not become a reading specialist right away. I believed I wanted to stay in the classroom longer. However, I ended up in a school where we, everything was very like by the book and controlled. And in many ways, I didn't feel like I could give my kids what they needed. So that was a little frustrating. And then one other big thing for me was that I would see my individual kids' needs very specifically. I would see like, oh, they really need to work on this or they really need to work on that. But because I had over 20 kids in my class, which I know is not as bad as some, I've heard of some teachers having like 32 kids in their class, um, it was hard because I knew, you know, so-and-so needed to work on this and I would like try to do a little bit of it, but I just, I couldn't dig in as much as I wanted to. And my reading master's degree opened my eyes even more to like what these kids needs were and how they should be served, especially the struggling readers. I have a special place in my heart for kiddos who are still striving to read at grade level. So um, I had a special group of kids that were maybe a little bit below grade level that year. And I think they, along with the circumstances and situation of my teaching job just kind of um, gave me the push that I needed to end up becoming a literacy specialist. So I did teach in the classroom for a while, but I became a literacy specialist a little bit earlier than I planned to. 
and I've worked as a literacy specialist in different capacities and different places. If you become a reading specialist, you can do reading intervention where you're working with individual kids or small groups and you might pull them out of the classroom or you could even push in and like do a small group. Some schools do it that way. It's it's different for sure across schools, districts, the world. Um, but anyway, other things you might be doing are being a literacy coach, so supporting teachers with their literacy instruction. You might model lessons for them. You might ask questions. You might help them plan. Just kind of being a coach and like, you know, another pair of eyes, another brain as they're planning and thinking about their literacy instruction. So you might do some of that. You might do some like curriculum choosing and just looking at your school's literacy program as a whole. So different reading specialist jobs incorporate different tasks. You may do one of those things, you may do several of those things, you may do none of those things. It really differs. If you've ever thought about becoming a reading specialist or a literacy specialist, I would love to know in the comments. If this is something that you thought of, just type me and let me know. And then also let me know if you have any questions too, because it is a job that I love for sure. So now I'm a literacy specialist and I want to share with you things that I think are challenging and things that I love. So let's start with things that I love. I love the fact that I can focus on one subject area and really learn what kids need and give them exactly that. I've been fortunate in that I have been able to do a lot of one-on-one -on -one work with kids, which I just find so fun, so fascinating, really getting to know them as readers and figuring out what they need in order to grow. So that's been amazing. I love that. Um, I love, of course, as we all do as teachers, seeing our kids progress, right? Like they're starting off, they're maybe not really reading or reading below grade level, and then they move up. That is just such a beautiful thing. Um, another thing, I think just the being able to focus on one subject is really helpful. I know that as a classroom teacher, you know, you're probably working on math and science and social studies. And like, I love those subjects, but I also love being able to focus on one area because I feel like I can grow and learn even more when I have that focus. So those are some things that I really love about it. I think one thing that is a little bit challenging, or at least it has been for me, is that I miss a little bit the relationships that I had in the classroom. Now, I have wonderful relationships with my one-on-one -on -one kiddos, and in some ways you get to know them even better because if you're working one-on-one -on -one with them, then you just have more time with them. So that is a wonderful thing. I do miss though, you know, like the, the parent-teacher conferences, and it's not that I don't talk to their parents, but you get, to, as a classroom teacher, you get to know their families a little bit more. Um, just the relationships are so special. So still have great relationships now, but I do miss a little bit of the classroom. I also do miss, I think, just having my own space. And as a literacy specialist, I have had my own space, but I've also had to share space. I've taught in a hallway before <laughs> multiple times. So I do miss, you know, you have your little like classroom home and you have the classroom community and like the read alouds and just all those special things. So I do miss that a little bit, but Overall, I know it's the right job for me. I'm also an introvert, and so being a literacy specialist, I do have a little bit more quiet time during the day, which is helpful for me, <laughs> so I love that. Um, but yeah, I love my job for sure. If you have any questions about being a literacy specialist, feel free to leave me a comment and I will do my best to answer them. I don't, the one thing I can't recommend is like an online program. I get asked that a lot, but I just don't know of any. I did mine in person in Chicago. It's been a while, but um, unfortunately I don't have a recommendation for that. But overall, I do recommend the job. It's an amazing, amazing thing. Love classroom teaching too, but being a literacy specialist is definitely my calling. All right, I hope this video was helpful to you. Again, if you're interested in being a literacy specialist, let me know in the comments. Hit the like button, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.